Let's get YouTube and welcome to the house. It feels like we left the eternal Yu-Gi-Oh format into the eternal buyout season. I truly do wonder if it's going to take all the way till the WCQ happening for prices to drop off with Battles of Legends, Megatons, and maybe even Dude 2 on the horizon. That being said, somebody here is trying to make DZ eat his heart out. As Yu-Gi-Oh evolves, being able to stack that top card to your deck without cheating, such as Adam Atia on the horizon, gets easier and easier. This card reads the true name, declare one card name, excavate the top card of your deck, and if it is the declared card, add it to your hand, then you can add to your hand or special summon a divine monster from your deck. Why we're now playing the god cards, huh, DZ? When we look at this card, it's bought out except for one seller here early at 20 freaking dollars it was bought out last night and on ebay there's no copies except for the international market now the pack this comes from is millennium pack it used to be a dollar pack on shelves we'll circle back to that in a bit but that means with its one printing it's going to be hard to replenish on market this has been bought out multiple times before when we look at this pack it's had great cards in the past such as card of demise left arm offering but there's no true value right now except for the true name in some senses we've seen trap hole spy spot out multiple times that's why it has low quantity so you may want to go through this pack that has a very high sealed value for what it used to be and look for maybe some of these anime investments i've always been surprised that some of these things haven't been higher so if you've been sleeping off holding off i'll finish my anime collection later well there's definitely some good cards in here to be had but the true name how is that gonna turn out i'm not certain if the adamatia meta when it does take over or gets into the metagame itself will be trying to summon god cards or consider those bricks but it is certain that it would be a hilarious tech to top with Cyframe Gear Gamma, the ultra rare bought out, huh? We're going back to spiral format and we're getting all the hand traps. I do see a lot of spiral players playing this and I think that it can end up bricking because their end turn boards don't always end up with Lambda, but you see that the super rares are also running out of quantities from the special edition with only 20 prices left and... It's interesting because on eBay, it is far, far cheaper. It wasn't fully bought out for the Ultra and the Supers are still available there too. So you do have the cheaper option for now. Lambda is also going up though. So it might not just be Spirals calling this. This is one of the best generic Link 2s that you can possibly have. And when I look around, it spikes rather quickly here. It's very affordable on eBay. We have a Canadian seller here near Mint and then it's still 10s before 12s and it takes a while to catch up to TCG player. So while you might want to shop using my TCG player link in the description down below, costing you nothing extra and supporting the channel directly, during hype season, a lot of people do tend to go to TCG player first because there are the best deals, they overbuy, and then eBay ends up being cheaper. So do shop around. There's a lot of examples such as Mascarena, who is now almost 50 freaking dollars here on tcg player she remains four to five dollars ever since release and her first buyout cheaper on ebay and we've seen that throughout all of market watches 44 45 i don't know that this is ever going to change there's just so many holding the line new listings before it does bump up closer towards tcg player mascarena just has her home on ebay for some reason and the prismatic has been bought out back to the point of 600 both her and opelosa have been targeted recently and with that belief i think the top prismatic of each set such as lightning storm for the next set will kind of fall towards 400 hit its bottom peak, and then go back up because it's only in first edition product you'll have motivated sellers early. But past that, people are going to just keep eating up these copies versus the listings. You do also have the regional season, which can contain prismatics and all those packs opened in the field. Those are probably some of the best places to hunt them down. Black Luster Soldier of Chaos is also up here towards 73 almost $74. But over on eBay, when I look through, it's much cheaper once again because people have recently clamored after this card. It was as cheap as 60 to 62 Cheap, by the way. I know how I sound. But with the market inflating, yeah, it's pretty crazy for your generic staples. And he's only available in this pack for now. 
I don't see when his reprint would be. I would love for it to be in Dual Overload, but I don't see it. Maybe a Battles of Legend reprint for the Battles of Legend card? We can only hope. Also, somebody in Distant Coder's live stream asked me if there's ever cards I hold back on Market Watch. I feel like I would suggest Sal Salmon Great Almirage almost every single freaking Market Watch to the point that I'm shoving it down your throats, but then that causes buyouts, that causes people to go crazy. All I can say is once in a while, hey, I would think about this card because if people are going crazy for the invoked cards, what do they need and what's only in the set? Well, it's a one of typically in the extra deck, sending that Alistair to Graveyard, getting this on the field, getting the fire to be able to go into the light cybers. Uh, I believe it's Security Gardener. Look, this card's really amazing for that deck. They also use it in Altergeist. It has many different places to call home. So, like, I don't like to shove cards that are low in quantity down the throat of Market Watch, but there are times that I do kind of try to keep something to the side and not just, you know, play on repeat all the time until it's gone. But Blackluster Soldier, yeah, Battles of Legend cards in general, it just feels like they have cycling buyouts. They go back down, then they go back up because they're only available here. Wind Witches for Master Rule 5, really? I just don't see it. Summon the Crystal Wing Restrict Yourself dot deck. I don't see it, but the original copies continue to go up on all fronts and get their cycling buyouts with you know, I spell still under a dollar for her secret rare. She's really good. But when the card's good and not great, when it seems fair in Yu-Gi-Oh for its restrictions, I don't think it's going to be taking over Yu-Gi-Oh when a kaiju solves your problems that it summons. Number 39, Utopia Double the ultimate otk piece from your extra deck especially looking towards the next master rule where you can just lay the xc's anywhere well he's towards 650 who would have saw that coming over on ebay he's towards five and up as well people are chasing after this card because a it's good in the current format b it'll be good in future formats c it just ends the freaking game like Boral Sword with all that less commitment, except for the Garnet in your deck that is the double or nothing. I really like this card in terms of the access that it gives you to OTKing. It feels very powerful for that balanced brick, but do be aware of it. Don't get hit by it. Play around it when you're playing against decks that might be able to summon it. Dark Magical Circle, the original, is up in price towards, despite its market price and as low as, towards $7.77 plus shipping for a near mint first. And none are unlimited on market is what's eyebrow raising to me. And then the Mega 10 version is as low as less than $2? This is weird to me when you have that big of a gap for an original, but they're both highest rarity, they're both secret. I get that the ultra reprints are readily available, but this feels off to me. I think this will be going up. Uh, even though it's mid rarity, it'll probably start heading towards four to five in a bit. If you're hunting down other magician stuff, we've seen spikes thanks to the dark magician stuff over in the new legendary duelist six magical hero. I'm finding it odd that the dual power stuff is just resting. Bond between teacher and students, an amazing card. You have the Magician of Chaos that was hyped on its release. Quintet Magician, of course, not the ultimate card it once was perceived to be. We got it way too late. This is just interesting that it sits here like this. And I didn't know there was a playmat that was really awesome for the uh, Magician of Chaos till recently. But I would have thought Bomb Between Teacher and Student would have, like, spiked at this point. So maybe some cards behind that $30 paywall of last March reprint set that have evened out from its buyouts before, I'd consider getting sooner than later. Also... Magicalized Fusion is an interesting card to me. It does not have a reprint. It's out of Dark Neostorm. It could get a higher rarity in the future Mega Tens. I really like this as a call just to have, and it could be $5 in the future. You Fusion Summon a Spellcaster Fusion Monster from the extra deck by banishing materials from your field or graveyard. So really good upward potential for Yu-Gi-Oh! And under the new Master Rule where you don't have to commit to the extra monster zone, I could see a lot of people trying this out in their decks. Cards that only have one printing that are original and are also anime based are things that I think I would want to have if I'm a collector slash player. Also, I wanted to give this funny kind of snapshot again. Cross Sheep 
is higher in price than sales pitch. This is what short printing versus overprinting does. It's hilarious. I'm glad Cross Sheep was a rare. Not very happy with it being a shorter print in the sets. Not very easy to obtain, but still four dollars. Let's face it. If this was a secret rare, it'd be thirty to forty. I'm still pretty happy to pay this kind of a price on it for the card that it is. But wow, please super this in an OTS pack soon. Tell me that was your plan, Konami. But it's so funny for this generically hyped card that's a little slow to end up all the way down here when people were calling this to be $20 to $30 versus this being worth even more than it. Thank you for watching today's Market Watch. Let me know what you thought of everything going on. I know that it's a crazy time and I do hear a complaint versus all these prices are going up. Where's the suggestion? So I'm trying to include more suggestion cards for you. But when I do, there's dangerous stuff such as Dark Magician Girl gets bought out or there's only so many all mirages. So I do try to hold back with suggestions here and there on Market Watch at times, but I always give them to you guys first, either on the Patreon and then eventually here or just straight up here like the dark magician girl so check out the patreon i do talk market watch stuff there even at the lowest tier i've been keeping up a lot better with that at just two dollars and mailed perks at twenty dollars subscribe here if you haven't already completely free and you can support the channel with my tcg player link in the description down below costing you nothing extra for those cards you'd already be buying when it's the best deal for you seriously thanks for watching everybody i love doing this as a job i couldn't be here without you guys and it feels so good to get to do what i love every day i saw one of those conversations earlier about i'm 30 is that too old for you i'm like heck i'm 30 my only question is when can i stop doing 24 hour live streams versus how my body holds up so i Never feel too old for Yu-Gi-Oh! Just manage your time and your money versus how you play Yu-Gi-Oh! correctly. It's really awesome to see those fathers who grew up with Yu-Gi-Oh! start to bring their sons into it and get to play tournaments with them and get to play again. It's, and the new Master Rule is the perfect timing for that too.